Uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, try your Harvest Veggie Burger. Okay. Um, can I get... Go ahead. Yeah, can I get uh, the cheese curds on the side? Um, uh, diet root beer. With a diet root beer, okay. Yep. And thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> ah. Slingshot. Sure. <laughs> All right. Put it in the park while we wait. There we go. So yeah, don't you love how the when you wear a mask, it makes your ears look like you got elf ears. <laughs> Nobody ever talks to me about my mask. They don't ask me a question about it. I'm dying to have someone ask me about it so I can tell them about my channel. <laughs> Shameless plug. Hello. Hello. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, we got our veggie burger and our got a burger for John for later. We're gonna go review this veg veggie burger. Find a place to park. Maybe some shade here. Yeah, that's one good thing about this parking lot. It's got some decent shady spots because there's trees all around it. People at Culver's were smart when they built their restaurant. They built it and put some tr trees nearby. I don't know if they, I'm assuming they just left some trees that were on the lot because these trees are pretty mature. Yes, tree talk with Big Daddy. All right. What's up, YouTube? Big Daddy here. Time for another food review. Well, this bag tells you nothing. But this cup will tell you. We went to Culver's, bag. Where is it? Culver's. Culver's. We went to Culver's, and we're trying out their all-new Harvest Veggie Burger. I don't know. I'm not real big on the veggie burgers, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. So we'll open it up, try it out. I've heard some good things. I know a couple. We'll show you those in a minute. All right, here we go. This is our veggie burger. Hugging the box. Is that weird? I think it is. All right, we'll pop this open. All right, looks interesting. Pull it out, I'll give it to you. Show it to you. This is their veggie burger. See all the, the on, they got the red onion on there, some lettuce, some tomato. Here, we'll pull the, pop the top. And then I got some, we got pickle on here. Pickle, a little bit of mayo. Should be interesting. Let's bring the box back so we don't, have it all over the weather tech. All right. The first bite though. That first bite though. Here we go. This is the Culver's Veggie Burger. We'll see. Okay. The 
lettuce, tomato, mayo, and pickle. And a little bit of onion. It helps give you the flavors that you're expecting from a burger. I will say that. Let's take another bite here. I'll get everything. Get that pickle in there. You need it all. Without a doubt. To pull this off. To say this is a burger. To give you any kind of similarity to a burger, you really need all those ingredients. And in my opinion, I need that. You really need the pickle. The pickle is what sends it over the top and gives you that flavor. But let me pull this apart so you guys can see something. Okay. This burger patty that they have on here. There's no, there's no, there's no density to this it's mush this burger is mush it's just cheesy mush it's vegetables held together by bread or whatever they got kind of making them into a patty and maybe cheese I'm thinking because it looks like there's some cheese pull when you separate things or whatever it is. It's not bad. And if you're used to eating veg, you know, veggie burgers, if you're a vegetarian, I could see how this would be a viable option for you. But... Would I call this a burger? No. I don't call this a burger at all. It's a vegetarian burger, but only because it's on a bun in the shape of a burger. You eat it like a burger, but it's in no way, sh shape, or form a burger. All right? I, I don't know. I just feel like if you're talking about a burger, a hamburger, you're talking about... You got the density of the beef, and you know vegetarians might help me hate me for this, but I don't really care for this that much. It's okay; it's got decent flavor, but it's not the greatest burger. That being said, let's check out the cheese curds. Now I've had called this cheese curds before, but maybe some of you guys have it. I'm just gonna pop a couple of these up. If you had a cheese stick. It's like a cheese stick in round breaded kind of ball form. I got good cheese bowl. Got some good cheese, cheesy goodness. And they got a combination of mozzarella cheese and some kind of cheddar cheese together and they got good flavor the breading has a little bit of seasoning they didn't ask me what kind of dipping sauce i wanted but usually they'll ask you you throw in a ranch that's usually the typical thing you dip or a red sauce maybe but the culvers for me usually i go with a ranch but these cheese curds are good. If I had to pick a winner on the meal, I would say to go out eat all the cheese curds in 86 to have the veggie burger. That's just me. Um, 
because these are really awesome but that veggie burger was kind of texture wise it was a, it was a dud to me so how would i rate these on a scale of one to five on a scale of one to five i'm gonna give the cheese curds a five out of five big daddy certified on that harvest Be veggie burger I'm gonna give it like a two and a half out of five. It was a good attempt, but the texture on that is is no bueno. Flavor was okay. Size was okay. Condiments were fine. It's just that texture of that burger that just it's too mushy. It's just too mushy. Like when you get the Impossible Whopper, that has the taste and texture and feel of a burger. This thing, no way. No way. And I mean, maybe I have high expectations. I expect my burgers to feel like burgers when I put them in my mouth. But this one does not. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Hit that notifier bell. Smash it. Pound it. And I thank you for watching. And before you take the first bite, you got to stuff it in your pile. Mm, one more thing. Pick up your merch, your Big Daddy's World masks, your Big Daddy certified masks, on sale now in our merch store at BigDaddy'sWorld.com. Take it easy.